Okay, so the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to, with an area plan, have both imperial and metric tag information. It's fairly simple for most most users, but this is something that we get a question on from time to time, and so this video will hope, hopefully address that. So, first step, let's create our area plan. I've got some just some simple geometry here, so I'll do area, area plan, we're going to choose level 1 and we'll take the default to get in those interior exterior boundaries. I'm going to add an area boundary here for this wall and then I'm going to place a couple of areas. So I'll just place an area right here, another area right here. The area tag right now says square feet but we also want to have metric information associated with that area. So I'm going to select the area tag and edit that family. In the family editor we currently have 150 square foot so I'm going to edit this label and in the edit label dialog uh, you notice that I have additional parameters here. I'm just going to add this other parameter to the list. It's basically I've repeated it. It's, it's there twice now. But with this area, I'm going to click on the Edit Parameters Units Format, and then I'm going to deselect Use Project Settings because I want this to be square meters. I'll use the unit symbol. Click OK, and we might change the sample value to something like M2, even though that's kind of Gonna look a little silly. We'll do a break here and click OK. Move this down a little bit and then load it back into the project. And when we do, we should overwrite the existing version and so we now have both square foot and metric for the tag. The, the area itself, um, let me select the area. If you're interested in getting both metric and square footage data from there, you may have to go a completely different route, including creating uh, a shared parameter. Um, and I'm not even 100% sure that that's going to necessarily work. If that's something you're interested in, put something in the comments section, and I'll address that at another time. Okay, thanks.